Hi, my name is Ty Monet, and this is my podcast, Bruised, Battered, and Scorned. I started this podcast to solely be about domestic violence cases relating to real life experiences and situations that I've gone through myself. I'm not doing any of this for any monetary reasons or personal gain relating to that subject. I'm simply doing it because I not only understand I've been there, I have lived a life where I was afraid to go home, even afraid to have friends. This subject is very, very close to my heart and it is important that I reach as many people as possible to let them know that they are not alone. So without hesitation, our first case. Viewer discretion is advised. Doing this, I don't intend to disrespect the victims or their families in any way, shape, or form. All information is available online, and with that being said, all victims' names will be anonymous. Our first story is based in D.C. Before we discuss Lisa's untimely demise, I will give you some background information about her life. Being the youngest of five children, Lisa was a well-loved and respected daughter. She was an American sweetheart, known for her love and compassion towards others. Just like me and you, she loved to listen to her favorite bands, read books, even dress up for Halloween. She enjoyed tap dancing even in her sneakers. So you know she loved to tap dance because anybody tap dance in their sneakers, they love it. She simply made life sparkle. When Lisa was small, she always got up in time for Saturday morning cartoons. You know, I love cartoons, especially with Pinky in the Brain, but I don't want to talk about my age yet. Okay. She loves taking care of animals. Her biggest fault may have been that she took too long in the shower, and you never know what color her hair would be when she got out. She was so compassionate and strong-minded. She never backed down from anything or anyone, and if you had a stupid little comment, she would let you know. So let's discuss her meeting her boyfriend, which I'm going to just refer to him as Monster because he was terrible. Oh my gosh, he was terrible. I'm really not familiar where they met each other at, but they only dated for two and a half months. So just think, two and a half months of her dating this guy and she lost her life. That is terrible. So, in the two and a half months of them dating, nothing but sadness and fear for their relationship, Lisa endured extensive physical and mental abuse. Oh, it just, it just makes me so mad, you know, this young lady was only 21 years old and lost her life to this guy, this monster, this nobody, you know what I'm saying? It just, just makes me so upset. Okay, her body was filled with, (laughs) see how it's making me mad, I can't even say the words. Her body was filled with bruises, her ribs were broken, and she had multiple hematomas. Her monster beat her so badly to where she was in and out of consciousness. Two men witnessed this and helped Lisa as a boyfriend ran away because he a coward. Cowards run. And cowards put their hands on women. He, he was just a coward. She made countless reports to the police, but nothing was done. And she unfortunately went back to her monster. Lisa was an art major. She was so good at her job, but at the same time dealing with emotions from her um, abuser, it sent her into um, I'm trying to say it sent her into a mode where her artwork reflected her life. She had one painting that showed her new body with bruises from her monster. He made her feel so vulnerable that she didn't have no other outlet but her artwork. One day, Lisa called it quits, and she left him. And, you know, he was weak. He couldn't take her leaving him. He couldn't just move on with his life. So she decided to go to the club, you know, with her friends and take her mind off everything. 
she begins to feel anxious and nervous like he was watching her you know how you get that feeling somebody watching you whenever you feel like that trust me somebody watching you or something and go with your first gut your first mind that feeling if you feel it i'm telling you bust out it's not worth it it ain't worth it i'm telling you i tell my kids all the time if some feel like it's not right it's not right so she decided to leave the club. So, you know, she told her girls, look, I'm going. I'm not supposed to stay here, you know. So she ended up leaving. As she walked down the alley, she felt a presence. She was desperately trying to escape. You know, the presence that she was feeling, she was feeling him. She felt him. She felt him. I'm telling you, she felt him. She walking down the alley. So just imagine this man you've been trying to get rid of or whatever. You're trying to go have a, you know, a good time. And you can feel him because he's so negative in his energy, so strong. And you're trying to get rid of him. You're trying to get away from him. But you just can't. But you're trying. And you can't. You just, your body just pulling you back and forth. So she's feeling this. So she doing what she know best what she know best to do. So she goes home. So she's trying to get home. And all of a sudden, pow! She's shot in the back of the head. He shot this girl in the back of her head because she did not want to be with him no more. That is so, so sad. He shot her and left her for dead on the cold, dirty sidewalk. She was unfortunately not given any justice as the police knocked on the monster's door and he shot himself. What a cowardly way to go out. Why he just couldn't kill himself in the first place? Why he had to take her life? You know, why? <sighs> With that being said, you guys, if you have any um, stories you'd like me to go over or anything, just hit me up on my inbox. You can reach out to me at um, Thai Cocktails on Instagram and let me know. Thank you so much for your time and your patience. Please keep all domestic violence victims in your prayers. If you know someone that's going through something, talk to them. Don't force them to talk to you about their situation because it's difficult as it is. Just be there for them. Thanks for tuning in to Bruised, Battered, and Scorned. Until next time, be blessed.